There are several traditional scales used to describe the progression of Alzheimer's and dementia. Tipa Snow has taken the Allen Cognitive Disability Model, which focuses on what those with dementia are able to do, and replaced the numbered scale with GEMS. By using GEMS, Tipa not only reminds us of how precious our loved ones are, but also makes it easier to understand the progression of this disease. We've talked a lot about what is dementia, but this is a disease that spans anywhere from five to 18 years or longer. There's a lot that can happen and a lot of changes that are gonna take place. Brain failure doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. So what we wanna do is create a system, a way of looking at it that looks at not only what are they losing, but what are they still able to do? What are their interests gonna be? And most importantly, how can we help and what's the environmental support they're gonna need for success? It means you're gonna have ways to help that are specifically geared to what are they now able to do? And it's also gonna provide you with opportunities to go, oh, well, this isn't working anymore. They've changed levels of function. And the way we go about this is to try to see people as precious and unique, as special, not as just losing stuff, because it's more than just losing, it's changing. But for everything they lose, there are things they keep. So what we're gonna talk about are gems. Gems, because gems, are precious and unique. They need the right setting, they need the right care to shine. And here we go, let's start off. Sapphire, diamond, emerald, amber, ruby, and pearl. Now, sapphire, that's true blue, and that means your brain isn't changing. Now, it's aging, but it's not changing in a abnormal or weird way. What that means is the person is pretty much how they've been, they're true blue. But I will also tell you they're slower than they used to be. It takes longer for them to reach decisions. They're more likely to go, wait a minute, don't be pushing me. They have moments, as we all do, it takes longer to learn new habits, it takes longer to learn new information. They need more visual cues, more props. When you say, don't you remember? Well, yes, I remember. I might be a little feisty, but I do remember with the right calendar, with the right visual information. Make sure your verbal isn't overwhelming to me. Do a good job, that'll help. Now let's talk about the first signs that something's not normal. Diamond. Now think about it, a diamond, clear and sharp. They're still looking clear, but something's going on. They're very rigid. They can't be flexible. They can only do what they've always done before. They're very big on habits and routines and they don't want anybody messing with their habit and routine. They can't stand it when something's out of whack. I will also tell you that they will talk a lot about older stuff and have a really difficult time hanging on to new specific information. However, they will be able to know whether they like you or not and they can cut you. Diamonds are sharp and clear, but they also have lots of facets. It means everybody sees them differently. So you're spending a tremendous amount of time arguing among yourselves as to whether or not there is something going on or not. More than likely there is. Now diamonds don't remember and they don't like it when you point that out or they'll say, well, I don't know what's going on here. We don't wanna make them feel worse. What we wanna do is use what they're good at, habits and routines. Try not to change as, as much as you cannot change something. Use what they're familiar with, and then what you wanna do is give them the right support for what they're having trouble with. Be prepared for those old stories, listen to them. It's a good idea to find out what those old stories are. Actually write them down, because you're gonna need those later on. Learn the art of I'm sorry. It's one of the most important phrases you're gonna have in your diamond support care. Also, I'm sorry you're right, even if they aren't. Let it go, you're not gonna win a battle. You wanna practice skills that are gonna use visual, verbal, and touch cueing and get rid of the words, don't you remember? Because the fact of the matter is, they don't.